cake for my first birthday, says the USA. Two cakes for my second birthday. Cut to 247 years later. Okay, yeah, if the US gets one cake for every year it's been around, um, it is getting pretty ridiculous at this point. However, that does kind of explain why we're so fat. At least we're drinking the diet. I don't even want to know what's going on with Canada. What's always been interesting to me is some consider the American Revolutionary War to have started in 1775. The Declaration of Independence was adopted July 4th, 1776. It wasn't signed, though, until about a month later. Then we actually didn't stop fighting with Britain until seven years later. There's a lot of different dates around that, but we've unanimously agreed, like, it's July 4th. Well, I mean, unless you're British, maybe they still don't recognize our independence. <laughs> Imagine? We're gonna really have to start taking diets more seriously if we want to continue to survive our birthday. Wanna hear my fun word? Sure, responds Canada. <laughs> Taiwan. Ooh, he Come on, say it after me. Taiwan. He Taiwan. <laughs> there is no Taiwan, only China. That's what I'm saying whole time, responds Taiwan. China needs to be very careful with how they phrase their one China policy. Technically speaking, Taiwan also kind of has a one China policy. They just believe their island should have all of this as well. Taiwan just wants to go back to the old days again. Technically speaking, Taiwan doesn't just want mainland China. They want Mongolia and Russia too, as well as edges off of Central Asian nations and India. But I'm pretty sure this is just to not single out the uh, PRC or something like that. It's certainly is a fun word that causes a lot of reaction. Hello, Earth lean. I would like into Earth invadings. Oh, we have a Swiss ball in customs somewhere after WW2. Uh, the Swiss agree. Just a couple questions first. Uh, your profession? Am invader. And visit reason? Is conquest. Finally, your gender? Um, what? Yes, you is of communist or capitalist? Um, is other an option? Meanwhile, giant USA and Soviet Union ball pop up behind him. It looks like other is probably uh, not an option, but I'm just guessing there. I am not want into invadings anymore. Pretty much this was the most important question to ask after WW2. Nothing else really mattered at the end of the day. Were you capitalist or were you communist? Those were the only options. This definitely would have been a very weird time for aliens to have visited Earth. We were just overly obsessed with this one question. That's all that really mattered. There's gotta be a movie about that or something. Something. Imagine during the height of the Cold War, aliens come and invade, now these two have to work together. I'm pretty confident the aliens would have no idea what we were even talking about. Maybe they would just join the non-aligned movement. Thank you to all my fans out there. As you know, I'll be starting my world tour starting next month, but I'd have to skip out on Canada because of my scheduling conflict, so I'm so sorry all my Canadian fans. Stupid how dare she skip Canada in her tour? I'll show them! Uh, Canada, what are you doing with all that gasoline? Uh... Canada? Yeah, that's kind of what I thought you were gonna do. Happy Canada Day! That is definitely one way to get us back. This is partly due to the fact that Taylor Swift recently announced that she will be skipping Canada. That is not included on her world tour. I am, believe it or not, not a Swifty, but I do still find it interesting the countries she decided to choose over Canada. Part of the problems could be the venue size, as well as Canada's just really expensive. The other reference here is how Canada had a lot of forest fires recently, and they basically turned the US into Mexico briefly. So I think it's fair to say they definitely got their revenge. A Canadian MP literally filed for official grievance after Taylor Swift snubbed them? This is getting to a whole nother level. I'm getting a little bit nervous because I know they will be seeking out some sort of revenge. Of living metal? What a feel? Am feel beep boop responds Botswana. Love. Oh, why are you in killing living metal? Am prefer death metal. Ah, uh, Finland would. Once again, we have the return of Botswana, which now I'm just realizing how cool it would be to make a country ball plushie of Botswana. Be boo boo bop. But the problem here is that Finland really loves metal music. I guess specifically death metal. That is not good if you're a robot though. Finland I think is the number one consumer of death metal in the entire world. Although the Nordics in general just really like that music. As well as Central Europe, but no one comes even close to Finland's number per one million people in their population. There's six 630 metal bands per 1 million in Finland. Do you guys even listen to any other music? I didn't even realize that was a rivalry that existed. Finland and Botswana. Here we go. I love Japan. I love anime, says Vietnam. Viva la France, they now say to France. I love America. I love capitalism.
But I think there's one place Vietnam definitely does not love. They actually despise this place so much they banned all of the new Barbie movie. All because they showed this map that they believe to be Chinese propaganda. But maybe there's still hope for China because if Vietnam can get over their hatred for Japan, for France, for the USA, all places that invaded Vietnam, then maybe, just maybe, within a couple years they'll figure it out. I'll be honest, I'm not really gonna get up my hopes though. Oh no, it's Vietnam the 1970s and they're going through a little civil war. Dang you stupid f Vietnam? Me? Don't get into confusings. I am real Vietnam. <laughs> Dios mia Cataluna. What are you doing? What? Who is this? Whoosh as they lasso South Vietnam. Don't get into war with other clays without my permissio. Remove that silly sombrero. You're grounded. Uh, I guess I'm of winning, says North Vietnam. I was extremely confused about this one because to my knowledge, Spain did not participate in the Vietnam War at all. France did, the USA did, uh, there's a lot of people that was kind of involved in that. I mean, technically speaking, when looking into the belligerents, I mean, we had Cambodia, the Philippines, Soviet Union, North Korea, China, Australia, Laos, it got crazy. But even the supported by category doesn't include Spain in there. But then I realized this is actually just a flag joke. Spain got a little bit confused with the Catalonian flag. The Catalonian province has a very similar red and yellow stripes to it. South Vietnam only had three, but I can see where the confusion kind of got there. Of course, Catalonia also wants independence, they might have to go the route of Vietnam to achieve that though. For the sake of everyone, I, I hope not. This is the first time I'm noticing the similarities between these two flags. Alright Germany, what's my dad's name in your Dutch language or whatever you call it? Gras Britannia. I'm pretty sure I butchered that. Pretty sure the German B makes the sound of two S's. Gross Britannia. Oh, that, actually, I wasn't as far as I thought. Gross Britannia. Gross Britannia. Sounds like Gross Britain. Gross Britain? Why is he called that? Okay, me and this American ball are literally the same person. No, I will showings you, America, responds Germany. Want some of my finest cuisine, old chap? Perhaps some jellied eel? Oh, so no wonder why. That's disgusting. To think the modern German language, which is at least like a thousand years old, always knew that Britain was never gonna get food right. Man, they called it by naming them Gross Britannia. At the same time, the British have had like centuries and centuries to get rid of that name, but they haven't been able to do it. They might have even had like 5,000 years, 2,000 BC. Come on, Britain, get it together. Finally, it all makes sense now. All other countries suck. Happy fourth, baby. Please stop, says Britain and Canada. As they open up their Diet Coke, shut up. Remember what happened at your Independence Day, Canada? Oh no, don't bring that up. Three days ago. Let's go. Oh, Canada! America sucks. Everyone sucks but us. Meanwhile, Quebec doesn't really want to be here. Canada has their own Canada Day, which is exactly three days before July 4th. This day celebrates the anniversary of Canadian Confederation, which occurred July 1st, 1867. So maybe that's why the U.S. gets kind of overly hyped for their own independence. We have to watch the Canadians go crazy three days beforehand, and that just really amps us up. Love the different Canadian balls that were included in that little celebration. I guess technically Canada Day is not their Independence Day, but you know, I mean. Everyone, thank you for arriving early. Your grandchildren will be thrilled to see you. First, however, I want to ask a favor. Oh, we have France, Poland, Germany, Italy, Ireland, UK, and Spain. Oh, and a sad Canadian ball hiding behind the Great Lakes. I used to be a clay of relevance, a clay of with respect, and now I'm alone, forgotten by my parents, overshadowed by my brother, not even invited to his birthday. Maybe Quebec will be tempered now that it's raining. Unlikely. I guess it's like the old times. Always alone. Bro! I've been looking for you for hours. America, what are you doing in my house? Well, you just up and left. So I staked out on your doorstep. Then I thought, why not wait inside? Anyways, happy birthday. Thanks, A. Here's your present. It better not be a gift card. It's even better. Invited to 4th of July party. I wanted it to be a surprise party. Uh, sorry, A. Oh, look, perfect timing. The rain stopped. Come on, mom and dad probably are dueling each other right now. Mom and dad? I swear if there aren't any tacos left. Yeah, I invited them. The uncle the ants over for you. I thought it was for your birthday. Nah, man, for the both of us. Even asked mom to distract Quebec. And Mex is making tacos. Canada, you good little dude? Wait up, I'm not fit anymore. Ah, uh, nice little obese America joke right there. Talk about wholesome, this almost brings a tear to my eye. I was actually scared there for a second. This was just gonna be a 
really cruel comic with the uh, yeah the whole invite and stuff. So we're celebrating Canada Day two just on Fourth of July. I mean that's that's a nice little you know compromise. Whatever works. Oh man, and what a fiesta! Even Ohio's there. I didn't even notice the little DC ball taking down notes. Unfortunately, a lot of Canadians do complain about nobody talking about Canada Day. It does kind of live in the shadows of July Fourth. Glad to see some Americans still celebrating though. I love how all the memes about Canada Day is just literally people talking about three days before America's birthday. This makes me sad. Who doesn't want to be around this for July 1st? Nice to have a wholesome comic around here. Oh look, if it isn't little Denmark. Oh, as they're playing with their little blocks right here. Playing nation building, says Sweden. Missing that Kalmar Union? If you want a brick, go to war with Kazakhstan. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, they're playing with bricks because of Legos. But these are actually country balls. These are the only countries that aren't in ball form. We've got Singapore, Kazakhstan, Israel Cube. Also one of my favorites. He 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 he. Those are some cool bricks, says Norway. I still at best of modular furniture, says Ikea, referring- what? <laughs> I just referred to Sweden literally as Ikea. They might as well replace the name, it's fine. And this is pretty much what Denmark has been doing for decades now. They're just playing with their bricks. These are the original country bricks though. Man, that taught them so much. While Denmark has a duty to defeat Sweden has put enough Lego bricks near their bed. You step on one of those, you're definitely not going to survive it. Who would have thought Kazakhstan would have this much power in this part of the world? Sweden referring to Saints Day. Lots of bonfires and dancing that happens here. Oh, there we go. They've started the fire. Goat! There it is again. Kuru... Uh, uh, mm, Denmark! The rivalry will always live on. I'm pretty sure they can still play with their Legos even if they are on fire though. The Legos melt? I, I guess they do. The actual meaning of this day is May Day on which witches are held to ride to an appointed, uh, rev what? Nightmarish quality. Why is this reminding me of Midsummer? These are some pretty big bonfires though, that's for sure. Where Sweden has some of the most interesting holidays. Although it is a night that's observed by a lot of Northern and Central Europe. Ah, uh, the good ending with Denmark on fire. Ha <laughs> ha! Stupid! You're surrounded by U.S. bases, says the U.S. to China. They obviously don't like this. Got a U.S. base in Japan, in South Korea, even the Philippines. Here you go, says China, a gift to the USA. Oh wait, that's... that's Cuba. He can't freaking do this! Ah, when someone else does it to them, that's... that's unfair. Pretty classic USA there. It's recently been reported the U.S. has confirmed China has had a spy base in Cuba since at least 2019. And we just figured that out? How do we even figure that out? Who knows what else that base could become? It literally is just like a Cuban Missile Crisis all over again. These storylines just keep on repeating. World is laugh to me, say I'm weak, I'll show them. I am channeled to my strong inner Soviet Union, manifest strong. Destroy little country who not obey Russia. Do oof to political rival. Always stay away from windows. Repeat other bad things I've done in the past. I am not let you do that, responds Ukraine. Threat all of Europe to nuclear disaster by specifically having fun with a nuclear factory. Isolate self from whole world. Collapse is much fun be relive days of USSR. That is the problem with reliving those years. That was a pretty crucial moment in Soviet Union history, so uh, you kind of have to do that part as well. I don't think they were truly prepared for this roleplay and experiment. If you're gonna roleplay, you gotta go all the way. That is what a true roleplayer actually does, though, so I'll give you that. Big thanks to my patrons. I have cloned Drew, and I'm now training him to fight the imposter doing these videos. Subscribe to Drew John now. John Denver. Australia is I real. Am I am not I a oof, patron. A fat, no normal, normal. Argentinian Jesus grandpa. Pensi, amateur. Archaeology. Inquisitor. Do we know his best girl? Lugs and Bird. 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 Lugs and